Welcome to, to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Dumi and I do travel, faith and lifestyle content on this channel. If the vibes feel right, do subscribe and join the family. Um, so I'm bringing you guys another travel vlog. It's a few, not a few, yeah, it's a few weeks after that first travel vlog that I did. And I said I'd, I'll give you guys a life update. Um, I've just been quite busy and so yeah this is the time that I'm getting now so I will take you guys with me on this camping retreat. did I say where I'm going I don't think I said where I'm going we are in Rustenburg we're going on a camping retreat I think we are going to 10 flags it's called 10 flags now Ten Flex theme park and that's where we'll be spending the weekend it's a whole like 10 vibes guys like we've packed blankets we've packed like it's proper camping so personally I'm you know I'm not a fan of roughing it out I like soft life honey but um, apparently it's not that bad so yeah so I'll show you guys around outdoor shower <laughs> so cool well the shower head is outside there <laughs> it's <actually so laughs> but it's cool. actually so cool ne? Uh, it's just not big enough for two people at the okay let's go and that's like the vibe So this is the general side. <laughs> yes, this is like where everyone is. So we decided to upgrade because we get an end suit. And so, yeah. So we are here, you guys. And I'm actually quite shy to vlog because there's a lot of people. And it's not just like a lot of people. There's a lot of adults um, who obviously probably don't understand what vlogging is. But... I'll try my hardest. I already gave you guys a tent tour. There's nothing in it really. It's just two mattresses and the actual tent. And we, yeah, we stay, we're staying on, on the nice side of the campsite, I think, because there's not a lot of people. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll probably be vlogging on my phone, I think, just to go low key, you know? So I'll see you guys whenever. Good 
morning guys yo <laughs> this vlog is going to be quite choppy and the reason for that is because there's so many people here guys there's like about 100 and something people and it's quite intimidating to be honest to like whip out my camera and vlog but i just showered um actually the shower was so beautiful the weather is quite gloomy today it's very windy and cloudy and quite nippy so I just had a shower yeah so I'm actually quite tired I didn't sleep properly it was quite noisy you know what guys I'm not cut out for this I'm actually not cut out for this I don't want to complain um, but yeah we drove out in the morning to go to the garage so that we can poop because there's literally one two three four like six toilets here and six showers that are shared between guys and girls so there's like three showers each for each gender three toilets for each gender so you can and there's like 130 something people here so you can imagine so actually the one tip that i would give you if you are to do this is that you must upgrade your your stay your tent or whatever because it comes with an outdoor shower i don't know if i've showed you guys the other side of the tent i think I, there's like a snippet of tents that look different to the ones that i've shown you when we checked in um yeah and that is because we have um upgraded so we're just having breakfast now um my husband went to get us breakfast i'm not gonna eat it's too early it's like um 8 51 that's too early for me to eat so i'm just gonna chill with him let's go did, did we show them what's for breakfast this is it's pancakes ne? egg uh, bacon liver chicken liver and here <coughs> there's chips and vienna i really am not interested in this <laughs> The sun, I'll have lunch. Oh. Oh. The sun, bro. I'm still busy with my skincare routine, actually. <laughs> you know what? Which is quite extreme from my side. Because he does a skincare routine while on camp. The chips look nice, no? What I can do is just drink water. I hope I'm still recovering from yesterday as well. Ah ah ah! Sweet. Let's say Peppa di angara ganto. When I'm a gadi chef, that's all I should do. Saturday, which is the main activity day so we have activities that are planned for the day and they are on site so we're not really going anywhere let me actually show you the place so that's where the activities are happening this is the campsite this is the deluxe section and then on the other side like right over there I don't know if you guys can see like over there that's the normal tent side that's where we met last night I think I'll, I've inserted the clip where it was dark and everyone was sort of sitting in a circle that's where we were and it was just an induction with like rolls and things and those are the bathrooms you guys there so those there are the bathrooms right over there these are the showers that we use they i think they're powered by gas so they just turn it onto your that square thing oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Hey guys, um, this is actually a week. It's the following Saturday. It's a Saturday following the last weekend where we went to camp. I didn't really give you guys like what happened. I told you guys about it's activity day and whatnot. But basically we ended up not doing some of the activities because the organization of that camp was actually, yeah, it was quite interesting. So I obviously need to like say something about it, you know. I need to like say whether I recommend it or whatever. Personally, I wouldn't do it again. Um, and that is because it was very loud. Um, I told you guys that I was struggling to sleep. So I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep the Saturday night as well. Because there was um, a party or some club thing that was going on. Um, yeah, it was just very loud. Like when we booked it, we were hoping that it's going to be like a retreat. We were actually using it as... A way to recharge and like rest and whatever but it was literally not that it was actually quite stressful um the other thing that we didn't quite well i didn't enjoy because my um i didn't enjoy it much um and a couple of other people also had the same problem is that they changed a lot of the rules of the camp um when we got there for example they said there's not going to be any music so when we booked we we're under the impression that you know we're not gonna be subjected to like that kind of a vibe you know but we were subjected to that and it, it was the whole weekend that we subjected to that the food for me was not so great um it does promise like a private chef kind of um dining but i really don't think it's a private chef vibe it, it really like it was just subpar man like i was really hoping the food would make up for it but to be quite fair it was not it was not giving you know and then the last thing was the activities like we obviously paid for an experience with activities and we were promised like a number of activities only about two of those activities were delivered the rest were cancelled because they didn't have enough resources to render those um activities for example the go-kart um they only had one go-kart one go-kart for about 130 something people which is like reaching if you ask me rip it's a rip off like we just felt even with the group of friends that we were there with we felt like we paid for a service that we didn't get and there was nothing we could do for it in fact one of my fr um, husband's friends um, said that he wishes they just made us pay for the tent and that people sort of decided what to do with that camping experience because we technically paid to like quad bike and you know um go-kart foosball and ice skate ice skate and what else there were like six activities that we paid for that we oh i only quite i did quad biking because go-karting my at least my husband did paintballing uh, but it was yeah it was not what it was supposed to be you know if you're gonna go go if you are you know if you are ready for any 10 basically if so for people who are structured like that if you're gonna promise me something if you say we got at this time we're gonna do this don't come here um and change things last minute and so that was quite frustrating for us so for me personally that was quite frustrating um and even though i'm not like as planned as he is i do like predictability and of course if i paid for something it must be exactly as i wanted it to be because you can't make me pay for a mansion and you make me stay in a in a hut you get what i mean so with that being said i would not recommend from my side but if you go and you feel like you're still into that kind of a vibe where you don't sleep there's music there's like people drinking and people are making noise and that's the kind of vibe that you want then by all means you can go for it okay with that being said um so now it's obviously a completely different day it's a different week it's a different vibe altogether we're going for sushi i'll bring you guys just just a bit for that and then i will wrap up this vlog
Never thought I'm trying again